There's a difference between being confident and being arrogant. We're in this journey and we're bound to make mistakes, we're bound to fall. But what keeps you going is that consciousness you have of who you, of yourself. To be around people that will make you grow. So when I enter into your room, yeah. I believe everyone should turn their neck and say, oh, who is this goddess? Ipen Studios presents her true awakening talk show. Hello everyone! Welcome to her true awakening talk show. This is a talk show that inspires every young lady out there into their self-discovery, purpose discovery, into your journey as a whole. My name is Imo Victoria Chidima and with me I have my amazing and beautiful sister here with me. Her name is Timmy Tokwe Elizabeth. Yeah. Her name is Timmy Tokwe Elizabeth. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms, TikTok at IPEN TV, Instagram at IPEN TV, Facebook at IPEN TV. There's a particular book that just got produced and came out by one of our amazing and beautiful lady. She's very beautiful, spiritual and yet full of important things. The book says, rich yet spiritual if you want to get this book the, the link will be in the comment section or to be shown on the screen if you have not gotten yours you are wrong go and get yours now so let's go right into our topic for today our topic says self-love and confidence the the part of believing in yourself let's wow. talk about this self-love because most of us young ladies in our journey of purpose discovery mm. in our journey of discovering ourselves there's this way we want to feel loved and at the same time we don't want to displease ourselves to please other people so let's talk about this okay i i will be talking on that um the way to discover yourself like let me make an illustration when i was still in secondary school i used to be this bold and confident but let me make a difference there's a difference between being confident and being arrogant i was very confident and so arrogant like i my confidence is i am so confident i can talk anywhere but i don't say it the, the way it should sound I, you just come out, I come just from like the everybody, the even even in teachers, proprietors, proprietors, they knew me that ah, that girl, she's very confident, even oh, for debate. Well, <laughs> I I had to learn some things that no be gra gra. So one of so when I got out of secondary school, this arrogancy people talked down me. It brought down my confidence, and I started looking down on myself. Mm. Then this confidence just left me. But later, I, I was like, what's wrong with me? Then I had to start developing on myself. You know, I have to start all over again from personal development. Mm. And the way, the way I started from was the people I, I, I was surrounded with. My sister mm. used to be a kind of motivator to me. She's, mm. she, she, she's a kind of impactful lady. She's industrious. She's independable. She's one of, you know, you just have to be someone like be around people that will make you grow mm -hmm. and another thing yeah. I, I i did then was um i prioritize um self-care yes when i look good you cannot tell me rubbish like <laughs> no you know <laughs> you don't need to tell me when i look good you know i'll just enter a place like i'm so confident i'm like confident i'm so full of myself like i just believe that i'm more than everyone in that room not just like i just have no, this it's not pride it's, it's not pride it's just my consciousness that i am not below every anybody in that room so when i enter into your room yeah. i believe everyone should turn their neck and say oh who is this goddess mm -hmm. i believe everyone should turn their neck who is this lady who is because i feel like i'm a lady and as a lady you have to have this confidence in you yeah. it's not this is not pride this is not pride and you cannot just walk up to me and say, uh, if you don't have 
because if you're not confident people just take you as nobody so and the other thing i did was i i had to buy a mirror i bought a mirror and i placed the mirror in my room and i will always tell myself i have my money affirmation i say jimmy talk with elizabeth you're so beautiful i don't need any man mm. to tell me this so, let, me, let, me, let me quickly um say something there's something i i always do oh whenever i try to do something and i'm not getting it or i, I just missed it i'll just tell myself victoria you can do it wow you can do it no matter what when we are, we're in this journey and we're bound to make mistakes we're bound to fall but what keeps you going is that consciousness you have of who you of yourself and god has created every lady very unique yeah, and beautiful beautiful you trying to jump on trends you trying to copy on that person you are actually living outside of your purpose what you can do is different from what i can do definitely it might be in the same like but there's a unique way that god has created you to do that thing and you try to it's good to sometimes copy to learn from people mm, yeah but at the same time always bring out that real person in you don't fake it and at the same time you compose as you still put that <laughs> say, don't fake it now. Say, okay, don't, don't fake it now you don't go in the public you open your mouth you want to talk you open your mouth and be talking anyhow no you know don't fake it be who you are yes you are uniquely made don't try to force what is not part of you sometimes it's okay if it's, it's okay to take a break <laughs> so it's, it's okay to take a break if you are and just take a break don't say i must do this i must do that i must do that <laughs> you just uh, couple. okay that brought me to a point whereby if nobody is perfect like it's mm -hmm. okay to make mistakes yeah i learned from somebody that says that failures is a part of success mm. if you have not failed you have not started success because, so <laughs> whenever you fail count it as joy yeah. and feel like it's part of the journey when you have not failed you have not even started as long as that that vision is from god as long as it's god that gives that yeah give definitely that vision. <laughs> even if you fail get up and keep moving i, I say something that like when you fall get up dust yourself and keep on moving keep on moving you you have failed you are not the first person and you cannot be the last but just keep moving hmm. you see so let's talk about that self-care the mm. self-love rather that self-love the how can you rate uh, the amount you you, you loved yourself mm. <laughs> that's a big question because we as ladies sometimes we find it hard to love ourselves <laughs> and yes that's the truth because we feel that okay god did not create you in this particular way so then we see when you see other ladies that are oppressing you oh god did not create you in this part of this like this so you don't feel oh, maybe god am i different god left me a bit above like. where was where was that where god was giving people this kind of you know like, this kind of thing yes so i don't i cannot really rate myself but in this journey of purpose discovery and self-discovery we have to learn to prioritize ourselves as well yes definitely. and loving ourselves you, you if you cannot love someone else if you don't love yourself first yes i don't know how you want to love someone else if you don't love yourself it's not possible and we need to learn how to love ourselves first and loving yourself comes when you don't try to compare when you don't compare yourself with other people and you feel that you are unique there's something just different about you even if you're in the same field as somebody mm. see yourself as something different and always want to be excellent at what you do mm. so when once you can once you remove that mindset of comparison i just think that that's love, love will will come you will just love yourself yes love will be there but and, um so no, i don't have to have everything mm. so you can say okay let me love myself oh. and love yourself is not just by taking yourself to one restaurant to go eat shaman pepsi mm -mm. but what if you actually love yourself and you are in the midst of people that actually talk down on you like your mom your dad every you every one of your siblings uh, like <laughs> when your mom start comparing you with your younger sister didn't you see that did you see her you yeah, know that happened. love can start depreciating i've actually been there whereby this comparison mm. may come 
but you it will get you i know you have this uh several already but it, it will get to a point whereby you feel like am i worthless does mm, do i yeah. do does yeah, anyone value can me be like that but once you have built yourself like when you mentioned positive affirmations once you build yourself over time even if you feel like that sometimes mm. there's this there, there's a way this thing comes consciously and you just tell yourself no I am unique, I am different, I am blessed, you know, those kind of things. <laughs> Even if people will definitely, whether you do good or bad, people will talk, oh. people will talk, and people will always compare, especially when you get to a particular stage and they're not really seeing results of mm. what you do, yeah. they'll begin to complain. complain. They begin to complain and start comparing you to other people. And sometimes your journey, in fact, our journey, your journey is different from my journey. Yes. How God wants to take me is different from how God wants to take you. Yeah. Sometimes people, some people's journey can be slow. Some can be very fast. Fast. Yeah. So once that consciousness is there of who you are, no matter what people say, mm. you will, you just wave it off. She gets. Wow. <laughs> oh, I really love that point that you gave. I actually wish I have um, this kind of point when I was growing up because growing mm. up for me was a kind of difficult because I never lived with my biological parents. Yeah, yeah. I lived with my uh, my sister's uh, my daddy's sister. That's my yeah, aunt. Yeah, she, okay. So she happened to love one and not yeah. love. The love that she would give to her children is different from the love sh that she would give me. So I feel mm. left alone. Even till now, that kind of thing is still operating in my life whereby mm. I I, I, <laughs> you get. Yeah. So, I think we should just. <laughs> you are unique and you are blessed. And it's a wrap on this particular episode of Her True Awakening. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe. Follow us on all our social media platforms and stay tuned for more beautiful episode it's good to have you here on this show today <laughs> thank you and ma see you all next, next week <laughs>